By the way, who do I think is better? Carmelo Hayes or Trick Williams? Bruh, I think Trick Williams is way better than Carmelo Hayes. Trick Williams has more charisma. He has more upside. And most importantly, he has more natural charisma. He looks like he's not playing a character. That looks like Trick Williams in real life. I think he has way more upside than Carmelo Hayes. I think he is the next Shawn Michaels out of that group. To me, I think he is the next Booker T. That's who he reminds me of. He reminds me of a young Booker T. That's who I think he is. I think he has way more upside than Melo. He has size, charisma, great look, and Trick can talk. Bruh, I think he has, look, Trick has more potential than Carmelo Hayes. I think Melo, his act is getting kind of tired. It's like, Carmelo has not evolved. Melo, he's the same guy every week. But Williams, Trick Williams, Trick has a lot of potential, a lot of upside. In fact, I would have Trick Williams beat Brown Breaker. Let that sink in. I would have Trick Williams beat Braun Breaker. Bruh, it's time for Trick Williams to go on his own. It's like, when will he turn on Carmelo Hayes? How long can he keep being on the sideline, being Carmelo Hayes' back carrier? It's like, how long? Eventually, Trick has to branch out. It's like, will Trick still stay on the sideline if Melo beats Braun? Like, look, how long are you going to carry Carmelo's bags? When will you turn on this guy? Trick Williams is the reason why Camilla Hayes is a star. Without, look, without Trick Williams, there is no Camilla Hayes. So, by that logic, Trick is the real moneymaker of this group. So, I feel like maybe Trick Williams should beat Broad Breaker. You see, this is what I'm talking about, man. There, there's still people that are still hanging on to the notion of if they don't look like you, they don't deserve to get pushed. It's crazy, like we are still living in the indie era. I don't get it. We are still living in the indie era when it comes to, oh, they spent time on the indies. So that means they should get pushed because because they got tons of wrestling experience. It's like, I'm getting really sick of this notion of if they don't look like you, they don't deserve to be world champion. Or if they don't look like you, if they are not a vanilla midget like you, they don't deserve to get pushed. It's like, it's crazy that people really want this company to be dead. It's crazy how I want the best for this brand. I want the best for this company. How come nobody sees it the way I do? If it's broke, you gotta fix it. There's there's two sayings. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. If it's broke, you gotta fix it immediately. Right? How come nobody sees things through the same lens like I do? I'm trying to better this company with my knowledge about pro wrestling and what draws. It's like, what are we doing here? There's people that don't like Braun Breaker. There's people that think his push is forced. They think he's boring. They think, oh, he can't talk this or that. Bruh, you guys weren't saying this when he first came out. How come professional wrestling is like this, right? Where there's a new guy who gets tons of hype, then months later, 
those same people turn on them. And it's like, look, man, without Braun Breaker, this company will be dead within the next five years. Let me say that once again. Without Braun Breaker, this company will be no more. Because there's nobody else at his age who looks like that that's on the come up. It's either him or bust. Hence why they are putting all of the money and the resources in this guy. I had this idiot tell me there's people in NXT right now that he thinks that are better than Braun freaking Breaker. And I said, okay, name him. This dude named all of the vanilla midgets. That's what this video is about. This dude named all of the vanilla midgets who came from the indies. That's crazy to me. He's saying those guys are better. Better my skills and they work better. I'm like, okay, let me tell you a fun fact about Braun Breaker. Hmm, okay. How long has Braun been a professional wrestler? He's been a professional wrestler ever since NXT 2.0 came out. Let me say that once again, because people are just hard hearing. They don't do research, but I do. He's been a professional wrestler since they switched to 2.0. So that's not a long time. And yet, He's a two-time champion. He's the face of the brand, but you are comparing his green wrestling skills to indie midget jobbers who have been doing this for the past 10, 5, 7, 8 years. So you are comparing a still a rookie to guys like JD McDonough. Listen, JD McDonough is a future jobber on the main roster. Facts on top of facts. Also, he said that Kim Grimes is better. What has Kim Grimes done? Nothing. Has he been a champion? I don't. I do not remember. Bro, where's Kim Grimes? Nowhere. His career is kind of floundering. Where is he at? Now he said, "Oh, what about?" Carmelo Hayes, okay, he's improving, but he's not better than Braun. First of all, he's small. He's small and short. He ain't. He is not better than Braun. Listen, it's not about the work rate. It's like I have to be a broken record in every video. It's not about the work rate. That'll draw at WrestleMania. If it did, Sami Zayn will be in the main event. Work rate don't draw. I like, bro. Didn't the push of Daniel Bryan teach you something? Work rate don't draw. Hence why you marks got bored with Daniel Bryan very, very quickly. Oh yeah, but you hate on the Miz. But The Miz is still relevant. DB is not relevant. His feud that he has with MJF. Can you say that feud is better than his feud with The Miz? Nope. The Miz carried his ass in their feud. But when it comes to Braun Breaker, people who want Braun to fail are the same people who said how come Vince don't push homegrown talent where are the homegrown talent at right how come they don't push new stars here you have Braun Breaker he's been a professional wrestler for one year which by your logic they are pushing young new stars 
It's just you don't want them because they are not vanilla midgets. You people don't like chads. You people don't like grown men. You like childs. JD McDonough looks like a child. Tyler Bate looks like a child with a beard. You want those guys to get pushed more than Braun Breaker? You see, that's why people have turned on Braun Breaker, right? Because they are jealous. They will never look like that. They are jealous because they feel like, oh, his push comes from him being a Steiner. And I knew this was going to happen. Dude, it was obvious. I said it in multiple videos. I said it. People are going to turn him because of his dad and his uncle. They think he's handed everything, right? Because of his name. Even though his name is Braun Breaker, not Braun Steiner. It's like Braun can't catch a break. You think Braun is being pushed and forced based on his name, but his name is Braun Breaker. The point of, of him changing his name to Braun Breaker was for you idiots not to claim that he's being pushed because he is a Steiner. That's why he went with Breaker and not Steiner, but he's still getting heat. That's crazy. He's still getting disrespected even though he's trying to make his own legacy. All because you people jerk off to midgets. Five for eight midgets. This dude named all of the vanilla midgets under six feet who are barely 200 pounds. He thinks they are better than Braun Breaker. A guy that's been in a ring for one year. <laughs> one year. Now, to me, I think Braun should leave crappy ass NXT. I think he's over it. I think Braun wants to be on a main roster. Now, I don't watch NXT. Not anymore. Because I can't stand their fickle fan base. That's why I don't watch. But I do watch highlights. Bruh, Braun is the only bright spot on that show. And when it comes to Carmelo, honestly, I'm getting bored of Carmelo. Let that sink in for just a second. I'm getting bored with Carmelo Hayes, actually. It's the same gimmick, same shtick every week. Same catchphrase, same promos. He's boring. But nobody throws him under the bus. I think he's boring now. Bruh, it's the same shtick. Same shtick, bruh. Braun is Braun. Braun, he's a Steiner. But people forget how big this guy is. I, I don't get it. He's six feet, 250. And he moves around like that. It's like, it's crazy. People who are kind of comparable to Goldberg, people don't like. I don't get why these marks don't like big guys. These marks do not like big men. I don't get it. They hate Von Wagner. They hate everybody who's big on that roster. That's wild, bro. They hate all the big guys on that roster. So let that sink in. So do not pay any mind to their dumb opinions. Because it's like, bro, you guys are biased towards small men. Okay, take your ass to all elite wrestling, bro. If you want to watch small men being pushed, then just watch all elite wrestling. Leave us alone over here, man. Saying, oh, Braun is pushed because of his look. It's like, man, now you are putting Braun in that category now? He's being pushed because of his look? Bro, he's a talented guy. He does flips. It's like, bro, he does flips, but y'all still don't like him? It's like, bro, I hate with a passion when people compare guys like Braun Breaker 
to dudes like JD McDonough. Bruh, JD McDonough is a midget <laughs> who will fail on Raw and SmackDown. He's better? Bruh, it's not all about the work rate. Hulk Hogan, look, who is a better wrestler? Hulk Hogan or J.D. McDonough? Right, seriously, who is a better wrestler? Okay, maybe J.D. might be better in the ring, but who draws more money? It's not about the work rate, bro. It's about the total package. Nobody cares about how many flips and dives and kicks you can do. I don't care. Do you have a total package? Like Roman Reigns, Reddy Orton, John Cena, Austin Theory. It's crazy. People don't like Austin Theory. You know why? Because he's a, he's a big guy. You know what I'm saying? That's a weird trend. But the point is, without Braun Breaker, bro, there's, there's nobody else. Bro. When it comes to Austin Theory, he needs Braun Breaker. Bruh, Braun is the future of this company. What's going to happen? Look, what's going to happen when Roman Reigns retires? Seth, Orton, what's going to happen? That's why Braun is being pushed to be that next guy. To be the next Reigns. But you don't think Braun should be pushed because you don't like him in a ring? All because he doesn't do the same stuff as Tyler Bate. Oh my God, I just want to punch y'all people in the face. <laughs> like, wrestling fans have very punchable faces, bruh. They really do. They got very punchable faces, bruh. You guys want a bunch of five for seven, five for that guys who can't talk. They they should get pushed more than Braun Breaker. Wow, man. Listen, every time I watch NXT, like the clips, Braun looks like he's done with that show. It looks like he has zoned out. He wants to be on the main roster. He is done with that show. And I don't blame him. The fans suck. The roster sucks. Bruh, that show sucks. So that's why Braun looks bored. Because he's done with you fickle fans and that show. Braun wants to be on Raw and SmackDown right now. But that show needs him. Dog, that show sucks so bad. Jinder Mahal got, got brought back. Veer got brought back. Apollo Crews got brought back. That roster sucks. There's only one guy on that roster who I can see facing Roman Reigns, and that's Braun Breaker. That's what it boils down to. Who on that roster looks good on paper to face Reigns at a WrestleMania? And that's Braun Breaker. That Roster was trash. That's why they keep bringing back guys for the main roster to help out. That's why Braun is done, man. Braun wants to drop that belt and be called to the main roster. He looks done. Listen, I'm not going to watch that show until Braun gets, gets caught up. Seriously. I'm not going to watch that show until Braun gets caught up to the main roster. He needs to be caught up. That show sucks. Braun does not need that show. That show's boring. That show is repetitive. Braun does not need that show. In fact, that show is actually bringing down Braun Breaker. It's like he is going down with that ship. That's why it's kind of making him, him look bad. So I think Braun should be caught up to the main roster. He looks done with that show. I think it's time for Braun to leave. But, bruh, there's only about what? Maybe two or three guys that I see might have upside. 
if they were on a main roster. And that's Mello and Waller and Big Tony D. That's it. The rest of that roster was hot trash with no upside on the main roster. Bruh, Tyler Bate has Jobber written all over him. Listen, J.D. McDonough, Tyler Bate, Cam Grimes, those three guys who you said are better than Brown Breaker, those guys will be Jobbers on the main roster. Just wait. Be patient, but it's going to happen. Those guys are Jobbers on the main roster when they get caught up. Especially, uh, what's his, what's his name? Um, um, Dragunov? Dragunov is a jobber on a main roster. I can't see him having any kind, of, any kind of upside. It's not gonna happen. Dragunov has no upside. He has no personality. He's just another guy from the UK who does tons of holds. He has no potential on the main roster. I don't care how well he works in the ring. It's not going to happen. It's not about how you work in the ring. And why are you comparing Braun Breaker to veteran wrestlers who have been doing it for a long time? That's not fair. For a guy that, that has not been a wrestler for the past two years, he is great. Dog, Jim Cornette said... He's never seen a guy like Braun Breaker since Kurt Angle and The Rock. Let me say that once again. Jim Cornette said he's never seen a guy like Braun Breaker since Kurt Angle. Listen, at the end of the day, there's nothing wrong with Braun Breaker. Braun Breaker is bored with the show he's on. Same as me. That's why I don't watch. The show is boring. And I feel like that show is dragging down Braun. Braun no longer needs that show. That show needs Braun. Braun don't need them. Braun needs to be called up to the main roster. So until Braun gets caught up, I'm not going to be watching that show. Because that show don't deserve Braun Breaker. Braun is a generation talent. He needs to be on the main roster. But if you want Braun to fail, that means you want this whole brand to fail. This brand has no future without Braun. Dog, where is Gabe Thiefson? Right? 